G'day guys, my good friend Steve has finally decided to upgrade his antique. <laughs> you got onto that one? So, hey, buddy. and a chuck in an Elite Ti in his tinny. I'm going to show you how to install it. Well, yep. you're probably going to do the install, I'll talk you through it. Righto. Then I'll set it all up electronically on here, yep. make sure it's up to date, we'll set the transducer up. Yep. So to start with, we need a platform that you've already installed for us, thank yes. you. So the power was already here for your old sounder. Yep. So it's the new one comes with the fuse, so it's important to always install that fuse in line with it, mm -hmm. in case anything happens. Now I'll mount the sounder here. Yep. When you mount your bracket, you'll notice that there's an angle on here. That's for, so you loosen your knobs off and you can slide it out. Make sure you always face that to the open section. So we've got our mount in, nice and secure. Yep. We've got our power cable in. Yep. All that's left physically to do, we'll build this transducer. Yes. Mount it on the back and then we can have a play. Nice. So your transducer comes in three parts. You've got the plate that mounts to the back of the boat. Your plate that mounts to the top of the transducer, transducer itself. You lay your plate across the top. You notice the six holes that line up. Give you six little screws. Put all your screws in there nice and loosely just so they fit before you do them up. Pretty important, these screws come with a little spring washer. Make sure you have that spring washer on. It'll make sure that, that screw doesn't fall out of here. When you're doing up these screws, from the plate to the transducer, just nip them up. You only really want to crush that spring washer and just a little tiny nip. Don't do them over tight, you'll pull the screw mount out of the back of the transducer. Place mounted to the bottom of the transducer, nice and firm but not over tight. We're left with this piece, this is to mount to the back of the boat. So we'll go on the back of the boat, we'll mount this on and we'll line it all up. Now the fun part. You have to drill two holes in the bottom of your boat below <laughs> your waterline. So what we want to do, yep. we want to have this so that it's level on all planes. Yes. This way, this way. Yes. But importantly, where your water runs through the bottom, see how you've got your chimes? Yes. We don't really want to have it behind one. Behind one chime. So right it'll up. come across. Yep. And then you want to have it so it's just... You don't want to have it too far below your boat or it ends up shooting a whole heap of water up and you, okay. you yeah, look a bit so silly. Like that. So we'll um, yep. just have it just above like that. Yep. So the bottom of your skimmer is going to be in the water. Okay. Yep. We'll screw that on there now. Right. So we'll temporarily just sit this plate against your transducer. Okay. Yep. Just so we can line it up exactly. Go there and mark in the middle of your slot. Yep. Nice. Now you can put a couple of holes in your boat. Right. That sounds good. But make sure when you're drilling through the back of your boat that the fuel tank is on the other side or take it out first so you don't end up drilling straight through the boat into your fuel tank. So be before you screw that on, yes. don't do it up super tight because we're going to have to adjust it okay. to yep. exactly where we want it. But yeah, you want to have the big loops down the bottom. Yep. So just nip him up. You notice on the Bracket on the top of the transducer, there's a little slot for your cable. Put it up there, put your bolts through on that bottom hole. The little blue on the bolts is a bit locked tight, so it'll make sure they don't come loose. To get these almost tight, just till it starts to grab a little bit. Level it up, then we'll nip it up. So these ones are nice and secure. So once you're happy with your position, as in with the hull and that you're flat, just take out one screw at a time and then put some elastic back on the screw and put it back in position, make sure it doesn't leak. So your transducer cable as it comes is nicely coiled up and I leave it coiled up until this last bit. Then you can just unroll it in your hands until you get it all the way out and then once you've got it out and you have the coils in it, just spin it until it's all nice and straight. It'll make it laying in the boat nice and easy. So now we've got all the kinks out of our cable so it'd be nice and straight to lay through the boat. Before we run it, put a little cap on the end of your plug. That'll protect all your pins in there, you don't want to bend any of them. When you run this cable through your boat, make sure you don't run it near any of your other power cables for your trolling motor, stuff like that. It's the easiest way to get interference in the boat. Three ports on the back, 
Red one, red plug, power. Push it in, lock it on. Second one, in the, in the packet you get a little black thing to seal it over. Make sure you push it on. So on your transducer cable, you notice a little silver label. It tells you what type of transducer that is. So this is an active imaging three in one. Either write that down or just remember it if you can. Black hole, black plug. Pull your little cap off. You notice there's a keyway in here and in here. Make sure you line that up, just loosely you'll feel where it sits. Line your key up on your locking tab, push in, lock it off. Sit it in the mount. So right on, mate, we'll take the cover off, you'll turn it on and I'll show you how to set it up. Perfect.